All right, hi everyone. My name is Roland Kays, and I'm going to show you how to upload pictures to Wildlife Insights for your snapshot project. Um, <clears throat> before we get started into the website, the Wildlife Insights site, just some information here that you want to have handy, right? So obviously you want to have your photos um, uh, handy from your memory card, from your camera. And I usually like to give them a quick look to make sure um, there's not like 10,000 blanks, right? So here's my, uh, my pictures. I can see there's about 400, so that's probably about right. And I can see it ends here on a camera trapper. <clears throat> so if you, you know, have pictures from the lab where you brought it home, you forgot to turn the camera off, or if an animal knocked the camera down so it's aimed at the ground for the last two weeks, you probably don't want to upload those. You just want to kind of give a quick look to see what you're in for. <clears throat> and then you need your, um, some information, your, your location in decimal degrees, latitude, longitude, um, the dates that it was run. I pulled these right off the picture, it, uh, the, the, um, yeah, right off the picture files. Uh, and then you need uh, names for the deployment and the location. And we're going to use uh, the subproject, uh, in this case, New Hampshire Wild Forest 21, and then deployment one or location one. <clears throat> um, and this is set up. So in this case, for snapshot, we always have sort of one deployment in one location. But this uh, allows for other situations, you might have the same location that you deploy multiple cameras to. So that's why we have this deployment feature in Wildlife Insights. But in this case, just for simplicity, we're going to use um, names from the subprojects and just call them DEP1 and LOC1, <clears throat> or two or three or four or whatever. And then um, camera name. Now, if you want to record and keep track of all your cameras and exactly which camera was where, you can do that with Wildlife Insights, or you can just all pretend it's the same camera. It doesn't really matter from the data point of view. It's just kind of if you want to use that, um, <clears throat> that as a way to, to, to keep track of your cameras. And then if you have other notes, so we like to measure detection distance, how far it, it, uh, the, the set picks up a person. So you can put that in notes. Uh, and I'll, I'll share this document. And these are the settings that we're going to have when we get to Wildlife Insights on uploads. And I'll explain those here in a second. But let's jump to Wildlife Insights. <clears throat> now we're going to uh, uh, sign in. And um, you can see right away, there's the upload button right there. Um, you can also, if you go to manage, you can see kind of the one, two, three, four upload here. So you can click either one of these to start the upload process. It wants to see, okay, where's your pictures? So this is where <clears throat> you can just do control A to select all, um, it, you know, if you don't have any lab photos or whatever, um, <clears throat> upload the pictures. Now, if you want to drag more, maybe you have multiple folders of pictures, you can drag them in here as well. Um, so now we have our dialogue here. We're going to select a project. Um, <clears throat> In this case, I'm doing snapshot test project, but you should have snapshot USA or snapshot Europe, camera deployment. So we're gonna make, in this case, a new deployment uh, because uh, we don't already have one. And it wants to know a location, we're gonna do a new location, okay? So we've got those two buttons to click. And um, I've got my uh, handy cheat sheet here that I just had that I can look at to get the latitude and longitude over. Um, and so I'm just going to copy and paste that into uh, into here. <clears throat> Make sure if you're in negative longitude that you have the negative sign there. And now it's gonna it's gonna auto auto complete the country, um, so you don't need to do to do that drop down. So then the location name, if you remember, we're gonna call it um, off the, the sub project, and we're going to call it loc, not deployment, loc1. Um, <clears throat> uh, the deployment name is going to be deployment1. And then the date, the start date was June 6. So just go back to June 6. And the end date was July 10th. Think. OK. Um, so that's the, the basic, the, right, the most important information, the date and time of this camera location. We've got our name. So now just some standard questions. Um, camera, this is just, I'm just I, I only care that it was a Reconyx. I, uh, I don't really care exactly which Reconyx it was, but if you want, you can make new cameras for all of your cameras to keep track of this. Uh, so now some basic questions, was your camera functioning? In this case, it was functioning. If you had a problem, you can mention it. Um, camera height, ours should all be knee height. For snapshot, camera angle should all be parallel, bait type none, um, and um, 
oh, I skipped feature. Sorry, feature up at the top is an important one because this might be variable. Um, uh, you can see th this is if you have it on a burrow or a carcass or different kinds of feature, uh, you can click that. In this case, I had none. Um, we don't allow in snapshot carcasses or culverts or fruit or you know that, that kind of stuff. But if you have a dirt road or a hiking trail or a game trail, you can note that here. So this is where that would go um, on the feature type. So we've got feature camera <clears throat> going down quiet period should be zero. Um, and then sub project. Uh, so pick your sub project, New Hampshire Wild Forest, and then any remarks. So I'm going to say detection distance uh, 13.5. So that's it. Now we hit upload, and um, oh, the name already exists. All right. So there. If you have problems, it'll tell you. So this is low, we'll call this look two. So it won't let you use the same um, uh, uh, upload to the same deployment name. You can upload to the same deployment. Sorry, you can upload to the same location multiple times, but not to the same deployment. All right, so good. It caught that, brought that mistake. Now hit upload, and here it goes. So it's spinning right here. You can see, um, and uh, we'll come back for another video and show you what what comes next for the fun part of actually getting to tag the pictures. So thanks a lot.